Hi everybody, it's uh, Nilo Mara here. I'm getting your next challenge ready for keeping fit with Tip. I've seen you've done a good bit of work with um, Oscar and Cot. So today I'm going to demonstrate a couple of different drills that you can do. Very simple. Now I'm outdoors today because it's a lovely day, but these can be done inside. Now the first thing I'm going to do is catching, okay? Catching. In my hand I have a slitter and also a beanbag for the different levels. So depending on what level or level of success you are with the catching, you can use either a beanbag, which is nice and easy to grip, or a slitter. Now it's very simple with the catching. You can have your hurley in your hand if you'd like, or you can leave it down. I'm just gonna start with the slitter. I'm gonna go for 30 seconds. Just throwing up, catching the ball, okay? If you have a wall in front of you like I have, you can throw it off the wall like this. So you're gonna go for 30 seconds. You can throw it at different angles. Working on your catching, okay? Now, along with that, you have a beanbag. Beanbag is for the younger kids. They can work on catching as well. It's the same idea. Throwing up the beanbag, catching it. If you have a partner, you can throw it over and back to your partner. And just the whole idea of getting up your success rate with your catch. Now, you're gonna go for 30 seconds of catches with either your slitter or your beanbag. As I said, if you have a wall, don't be afraid to throw the slitter off the wall and catch it. With a beanbag, if you're younger, smaller hands, it's a nice thing to clap, clench or, or grip. If you don't have a beanbag, you can easily roll over a pair of socks together, put a pair of socks together, throw them up and catch it, okay? Similar idea, you're just really working on your dexterity in your hands and catching. After 30 seconds of catching, you're gonna go straight into a, a hop over for your hurley. So you just put the hurley on the ground. If you watch me here, I'm just going over and back for 30. Very simple to do. Nice balance, coordination, you get higher as you get better for 30 seconds. Now, that probably wasn't 30 seconds, but when you're finished your 30 seconds, you do it three times. So it's one minute rounds, catching, if you have a partner, if you have a wall, Beanbag, pair of socks or a slitter, you're practicing your catching. Then you're going into your hurdle jumps over and back over the hurley. Okay, it's very simple, but definitely beneficial. Again, we're going for round two. We're going to use the beanbag and we're going to use the slitter again. Now, this is a solo one exercise. You probably can't see it in the video, but I have a blue cone and a white cone. The white cone is just out of camera there. Now, to practice your solo in here, Okay, we're going to use the beanbag first. Now with the solo, with the beanbag, you'll see it rests nice and hurry. I'll go to the blue cone. Depending on what level you are, you can start off walking across between the two cones and turning. Walk across and turn. If you're at a good level, you can jog across, over and back, one or two hands on the hurley, keeping the beanbag under balance. Now obviously, for those that are well able, you're going to solo the ball over and back. Just like this, over and back through it. Keeping good balance in the hurl. If you're one-handed, might need enough to fend off somebody that's coming to tackle you, okay? So again, we're going to do that for 30 seconds, either with the bean bag or with the sitter. After 30 seconds, we're going into an overhead squat using the hurley. Squatting is a technique that's very important throughout GA because when you're jumping, you squat before jumping, okay? When you're bending down to rise a ball, you'll see me here, I'm in a squat position. So being able to get into a squat position is very, very important. So as you can see here, I'm gonna hold the hurl above my head. You can hold the hurl in front of you or you can hold it linear like so. So you're gonna go squats for 30 seconds, as many as you can. Three, four, five, Six, as you go down, you push your knees out. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I just did 20 there. Nice, good repetition up and down. And as you can see, there is lots of movements in GAA that need a good squat pattern or follow the squat pattern as i said bending down to rise the ball if you look at me i'm in a squat position again if i'm getting ready to jump to catch 
I'm in a squat position and also if you're in a ruck against opposition you're in a squat position trying to hold them off so you can get possession of the sitter so again it's three rounds 30 seconds sole went over and back between the two cones 30 seconds of squats using your hurley as a guide now for those of you that are well able between the 30 seconds you can solo back a couple times strike off a wall maybe or strike to a partner there's different ways of adding more difficulties to the drill the last round we're going to do is just a very simple thing ball control and coordination so i'm going to start off with the beanbag again and this time it's flicking it up you can flick up the beanbag like so keeping control of it you can move move around as well if you'd like just keep control you can see the beanbag just moves two three inches away from your hurley as you're doing the drill this is for 30 seconds again for the more able sitter bouncing turning your hurley whereas you can keep it up like so nice control just like that 30 seconds it's a good way for training your eye if you want for those that are very skilled you see a lot of hurlers just messing turn the hurley over but nice ball control you will go for 30 seconds it's like keep you uppies with a soccer ball using your foot but this time you're using a hurley swapping it over keeping it in one plane of motion same with a beanbag it moves nicely and it sits nice on your hurl okay again if you don't have a beanbag as i said at the start a pair of socks should work the same way for you after 30 seconds of keep you uppies we're going to do a shuttle now again, them cones that I use as a start, I'm going to use those again. So it's basically blue to white, blue to white. When playing any field sport, like hurling or Gaelic football, there's a lot of changing of direction, okay? So this is going to prepare you for changing of direction. Now, how many runs can you do in 30 seconds? So it's literally, there's blue and white cone. Over to blue, touch. Over to white, touch. Over and back for 30 seconds. And as you get better, there's, you don't have to touch the cones, you just pivot. As you'll see, my leg is outside, my hip, push off, push off, like so. I'm going to do 30 seconds of changing the direction. Now for those of you again, as I see with the, with the video, I couldn't put the cones too far apart. Because I want you to be able to see what we're doing. You can add in a slitter, have it in your hand, solo across, change, solo across, change, like so. Now this is roughly about 9 to 10 minutes. So you do 30 seconds on of each exercise, so the comments in pairs. So 30 seconds in this one of keeping keep you uppies with the ball, 30 seconds of shuttling back and forth. So it's one minute per set. You can take a break, 20 to 30 seconds after each one. So it should take you about 10 to 12 minutes to finish this. Again, the aim is on the basics of GAA, adding in some field-based stuff like changing direction and just keep control of it again. As we hit at the start, beanbag or ball, or a pair of so or a pair of socks, if that's the case, you've got your cones. It's a lovely day today. This can be done inside or outdoors. That's the beauty of it, because it's such a sunny day. I said I come outside. If you have a wall that you can use, brilliant. At the start, as you said, you could add it in. But all this is based on just practicing your skills. And I want to wish you all the best with the challenge. I hope you're all doing your best during lockdown. It's not easy, but we're all in this together. So. Looking forward to seeing a few of you might post videos maybe, you might send in different things and I'll keep an eye on your progress. Very good everyone and talk to you soon. Stay safe.